What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and a few days ago I've got, I got a message from one of my uh, subscribers on my website BalkanArchitect.com They were asking how to create a cladding that goes both on the wall as well as roof so having the same cladding material uh, or metal sheet material both on the roof as well as the as well as the wall so I thought well why not create a tutorial on that topic I think it's an interesting topic I already do have a tutorial on how to create uh, cladding uh, for a wall, but why not expand that and move to the roof as well? So I thought it would be an interesting tutorial. Uh, now, if you would learn, if you would like to learn more about Revit, perhaps some in-depth courses, I have both beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced level courses on my website BalkanArchitect.com. That's going to be the first link in the description, just below the video. Check it out. Uh, and also, if you would like to get access to all of my Revit project files. Those are available on my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link just below the video in the description. Also, before we start with the video, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. It helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And now, let's get straight into the video. And here we are in Revit. So, as I said, this is where we left off in that previous tutorial where I show you how to create a cladding in Revit. And here, as you can see, we have that metal cladding. It's modeled as a curtain wall here. And then we have just a regular wall behind that to accompany all of the necessary layers uh, for the wall, of course. And then this is just acting in as the, as the finish layer. Uh, now let's see how can we connect that uh, to the roof as well. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing now is simply going here to level two. And before I do that, let's actually go to south elevation uh, and then just make sure that this goes up to there. And then Oops, let's delete this dimension and then make sure that this wall goes up to here and now we can get started. Okay, so let's go to level two, zoom in here. Uh, here, if you have this annoying kind of center of your model, you can simply go to visibility graphics overrides, uh, scroll down to site. Uh, here we go, inter uh, internal origin and just apply that to, to get rid of that. Anyways, uh, let's now create our roof. So what I'm going to do is go here to the roof tool, roof by footprint, and then let's select the generic 400 millimeter roof and start off with that. You go here to the draw tools and use a simple rectangle and you want to start off here at the edge of the regular wall. And then we can go in like that, up to the edge of this wall, hit the escape key a couple of times, select these three edges, uncheck define slope, so only this edge will define slope. Then we can go back to the 3D view and just hit finish. And let's attach that wall. And this is what we have. So it looks very, very nice for now. Next, we want to create the finish layer. So the, these are all of the kind of the internal layers, but we need a finish cladding layer. And let's now create that. Now, again, we're going to be going here into level two. And actually, let's go to the site plan, perhaps there. Yeah, we can see the whole entire roof. Uh, next, we can go here to roof, uh, set it to level two. And actually, I'm just going to give it a base offset of point or let's go with one meter and then we'll uh, pinpoint that later on. And then also here, switch it from a generic 400 millimeter type uh, here to slope the glazing. Again, just repeat the same process of going here towards the edge or perhaps we can use back lines. Perhaps that will work. There we go. Perfect. Go back to the 3D view. Uh, we can select these three edges, uncheck, defines slope, and then just hit finish. There we go. We have a glass uh, a layer on top. Now, obviously, we don't want this to be glass. We want it to be actual cladding. And luckily, uh, in this previous tutorial, we have created a family for that. Uh, now, if you're interested in the family itself, it's available on my Patreon page. That's going to be the second link in the description. And also, if you want to watch that previous tutorial, I'm going to leave that linked in the description as well. But anyways, we have that loaded in. So I can simply select this and then go here into edit type. And what you need to do is for the curtain panel, change it from none to this metal sheet cladding profile. And then for the layout for grid one, set it to fixed distance, actually set it to fixed distance for both of these. But here the spacing is going to be 0.15 uh, meters. And this one is going to be two meters for grid two. And then just hit apply. And this is what that's going to look like. Perfect. Uh, next, we want to move to one of the elevations. Let's try west elevation. There we go. 
Uh, this is way too high, obviously. So let's set it to 0.5 meters. Let's see where that lands. Okay, maybe go here to wireframe. Okay, that's a little bit too, too deep inside of this. So let's go to the move tool and just move it up like that. Perfect. Uh, next, uh, let's go to the 3D view and then we can select this and bring it all the way up. And then you want to kind of zoom in and see what's going on. Uh, again, perhaps go to the west elevation. And what I'm just going to do is select this entire sloped glazing, go to the move tool and move it just from this end point to here. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the 3D view and there we go. Uh, next, you want to make sure that these kind of uh, look the same or uh, uh, they they follow the same uh, pattern here. It it seems kind of misplaced a little off to the side, actually just by one uh, whole segment. So what I'm going to do is go to the south elevation, zoom in here. There we go. And then what you want to do is uh, simply go here and uh, what I'm going to do just go to the annotate tab, go to detail line, go from this side and create one vertical detail line. Then you want to select this whole thing go to move, select this side over here and move it up to that line. Now this should align it properly, but let's, let's see. Okay. It didn't let's move it. So from here back, there we go. I think this should be proper. Now we can just delete this line. And now if I go to the 3d view, as you can see, they align properly, which I really, really like. And then finally, uh, let's create something that kind of closes uh, this gap. So for that, let's move to the west elevation uh, once again. And then here uh, we can just zoom out to go to architecture, go to component model in place. And here let's call this one roofs. Roofs one, that's okay. You want to go to the extrusion tool and then here for that extrusion, you want to set it to pick a plane, click OK. Uh, pick one of these faces, for example, this face here, and then let's use simple lines. So you want to zoom in here and follow this, go up to here, perhaps shoot past that a little bit, follow the angle and then go like that. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Let's try, let's go from the other side now. So from here up to here, perhaps, and then let's go up. And then finally, we can just kind of play around with it, make sure that it looks exactly how we want it to look. Connect it like that. There we go. Everything looks correct. Uh, now let's go to the 3D view, zoom out, hit finish. There we go. So what you want to do next is just extend this all the way to the other side. There we go up to here. Perfect. And then go up to here with this. There we go. And finally, we can select this, go here to metal. And then here, do we have some sort of a sheet metal? Let's see. Metal deck. I think that will work. Click OK. There we go. We have nice metal deck color. And there we go. We have something that resembles those types of uh, buildings where you have the wall and the roof, the same type of kind of metal cladding, and it creates that cool style of a house uh, that's quite popular, something like this that you see quite often. So there you go. That's uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this. And as I said, make sure to watch the previous tutorial where I talk about how to create this wall. That's the important part. Without that, you won't be able to complete this one. And then also, if you want my project files like this file, as well as all of my other Revit project files, those are available on my Patreon page. And finally, if you want to check out my uh, courses, those are available on my website, BalkanArchitect.com. You can find everything. Uh, there from beginner level up to advanced level and anything in between. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like and share this video and I'll be back with another Balkan Arctic tutorial in a couple of days. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.